everybody in this video we're talking marvel snap we're talking kang bugs what's out there what's going on with this guy why are they all over the place some new variants and i want to talk to you about kang in this snap reset everybody's talking about this everybody's got opinion and they're like you know what so i do want to hear from you what are your thoughts on the snap reset is it good is it bad if it wasn't there, what's the value of this card? All right, we're gonna get all of these right now. All right, we're gonna get to Kang here real quick. First, I wanna show you guys, if you haven't seen them, the variant rush event, uh, variants that are coming across, they're steampunk related. That's the Cerebro one. It's not bad, it's kind of cool. Uh, Bishop, all right, you know, it's solid, I'd say. Yellow Jacket's super cool. Uh, I love the, uh, the ornamentation, I guess that's probably not the right word. Someone correct me from that one. But just the detail and uh, his armor here. I love that. That's awesome. Shocker. That's not actually pretty cool as well. Uh, I dig that. Uh, Falcon. Mm, I don't love that one, honestly. Let me know which one you like the best. Comments below. Let's jump to the Kang bugs. Uh, one you're uh, probably already aware of. Uh, and it's not that huge of a deal. But you're seeing it at the top of uh, a lot of games where just the cubes are all sort of mixed together. This happens uh, a lot with Lockjaw as well, where cards get overlapped. Uh, not the end of the world. Sometimes it is frustrating not to be able to see that clearly, but uh, that's one of them. The other ones, obviously, you might have seen it. You might not have seen them. In this video here, uh, this was during one of my live streams the other day. I was just playing Kang. I had Vision out there. I'm snapping for the bluff snap, and eventually I can't do anything. It just, I, I have no options to do anything. I can't move my cards around. Uh, I believe they like gray out at some point. And it's just really sort of annoying and frustrating. Heard of a lot of loops, obviously, and we're going to get to those in a second. These sort of things in a game, I get that they happen. There's glitches and stuff. Um, I will say, I think some of the biggest ones that have frustrated me. And, okay, so we're here on this one. So you can see, so I can, I, I can, everything's kind of lit up. Vision's floating around. I grab him to move him. I try to go move them and it just moves back automatically and now you can see on the bottom all my cards are just grayed out and i literally can't do anything i'm just like stuck here and that's obviously i get frustrated and i'm like okay what's what what the heck's happening i'm trying to i'm trying to move things around like and notice notice where the end turn is right now so it's like in the middle of the thing i'm still just click i'm clicking locations trying to do stuff i'm not thinking about retreating because and then it just starts playing and i'm like okay like i didn't even do anything there so it was super super weird i'm like all right you know it, it was i was really really frustrated by that i don't know how or why it happened but i felt like i had a number of decent plays there and i just couldn't get it figured out so anyway that was the one i went through like i said uh the one on the phone it, it, it kept doing it, the result was similar but i was able to retreat at least so i wouldn't lose all the cubes in like in this case uh and in my phone it just keeps cycling through and every time you get back into the game the the progress bar for the turn ending it starts going faster and faster and faster because the game's registering this time and it's got to catch you up and eventually you just have to click retreat because you can't do anything uh it's really really frustrating one you know oddly enough this one does have x mansion in it so in x mansion you can get morph and if morph gets kang then the the it will start over it will do the loop and that loop is morph turns into kang resets the turn they come back x mansion has to happen again morph turns into kang does the loop and it just keeps going and going and going and going and it, it just doesn't stop it will not stop it just keeps going uh, there's another loop where it's an Iron Fist Cosmo of Zola combination along obviously with Kang. And it, uh, that one is apparently really hard to get to have happen, but it's just, again, a nonstop loop. I hope they fix that one pretty quickly. Uh, I don't love that. Uh, I, I think it's, you know, look, there was some debate. I guess one of the bigger streamers did it and people were giving him a hard time over it. And he was like, well, look, I won the game. The person could have left. Like if they wanted to stay and try to, you know, sit there for two cubes, that's up to them. I, I don't disagree with that. Um, I mean, I don't feel like it's an exploit necessarily. It's like, what are they doing? I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, regardless, it's, it's a, it, 
even if it is an exploit, we're talking one game's worth of cubes at maximum and mate. Like, that's not... I mean, if someone does that every single game often to get a bunch of cubes and gets, you know, instant infinite or some high level rank that gets them a bunch of, you know, rewards and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, that's... I don't love any of that. That's that's ridiculous. So I want to end this video, though, with the snap reset talking, King. You probably heard me in the last one where I was talking about or in the experience I had with Vision where I said there I snapped before playing Kang. So it's called the bluff snap because you can snap though your opponent potentially leaves and you get the cubes. Now, I will say for a cube game perspective, it this isn't that beneficial yes one cube's nice but overall i've seen better cube gains without doing that um i've done better with snapping earlier in making sure there's two cubes locked in because i see i have a good hand and the locations are in my favor or something along those lines and i'm able to pull off the win versus getting one cube to get somebody to back away because i'm about to play kang so there's talk about whether Kang should be a lot. And then when you do this bluff snap, the reason it exists is because after you play Kang, the snap before Kang on that turn goes away. So it's a snap reset. Now, if you, like I said, if you snap before the turn Kang, like turn four, you snap, you do turn four and then turn five comes, it plays. And then turn six comes. And either and you play Kang or and if you play Kang and either turn five or six, the snaps don't reset. It's only when you snap the turn Kang is played. So during that happening, a lot of people are starting to talk about, oh man, that shouldn't happen. It's you know, the the snap is meant to be something that's you know you only use when you really think it's appropriate. And I'm like, well, yes and no. Part of this game, I, and I've talked about this before, Texas Hold'em. People bluff in Texas Hold'em all the time. People bluff in this game all the time. You hope your opponent backs off of it. Sometimes it's in your favor. Sometimes it's not. Like, and you can bluff snap and it erases. Like, is that, that's different? Yeah, I guess it's different because it's a bluff that you have no repercussions on. Yeah, you're right. But at the same time, if that bluff snap isn't erased, like, look, I like Kang. It's cool. But... Honestly, like the value in the card to me dramatically goes down to see somebody's play. I mean, and I'm already seeing this people will on turn, I mean, especially if you snap first, you snap on, on a situation where you don't have great stuff there. Um, I'm seeing people play like just not, not bad hands, but stuff that's like they'll change after Kang and it's a good change. Some of them have been just. The first one was bad. The second one was good because you could tell they were anticipating Kang. Okay, well, so it's like, what am I gaining from Kang then if I don't have that bluff snap scenario in that particular situation? It's like, I get to see what they might do. They could change their opinions. I, I don't know. I just, the value of the card to me, I, I don't, I think it'll still get used, but not that much. So I think personally, if they... The snap reset, I think, is integral within Kang. One, from a lower perspective. He's the time manipulator. He is able to control. He's able to change everything in time. That's part of it. Um, the second is the fact that he's supposed to be this big, bad card. And you're seeing a lot of different people say a lot of different things about him. Some are saying he sucks. My first video on him was, does it equal losses? Now, I used a negative deck. You know, I think, it's, to be fair to Kang is that that might not be the best deck for him. And it was the first day I was using them, so maybe I wasn't using them great. Since then, I've created a little bit better deck on stream. Uh, I'm enjoying it a lot more, and I'm having more fun with it, and I've climbed a little bit more. But part of it is some of that snap situation. Now, I think that it's... The snap, yes, I want it to matter. I want it to be important, but I think it still matters and is important with Kang. And if you take it away from Kang, I think the value of the card goes down dramatically to the sense that I don't see him as like a Thanos Galactus level card. Those cards, those two big bads have some major, major impacts. They're, do you need other cards with them? Yeah. Kang, I think you can play in borderline any deck, but if you know somebody can change whatever they're doing, and the truth is, is you want, as a player, you want multiple win conditions. So if someone Kangs you, you, you get the chance to do it over again as well. 
So if I, that's all I'm gaining from Kang is seeing what someone might do and then they change it because they've seen Kang, like, okay, like that makes it harder on me. You know, and, and sometimes people will play a card here first pre -king, or pre Kang and then over here on post Kang. So it's like, well, what did I gain from that? I know that they might play a, a you know, red skull somewhere, but I, it could be anywhere. Let me know what your thoughts on this are. Uh, it's a hot topic right now. I'm going to be on the side of they need to leave the snap reset right where it is. I think Kang is fine where he is for now um, until I see something that's like straight broken with him. Okay, fine. At that point, I, I let's talk about it. Let me know if you're seeing any decks that are straight broken with Kang. But at the end of the day, I don't... I think it's just... He's going to give you the opportunity to look at what your opponent might do, but they also have the chance to change it. So I think the snap reset needs to stay. That's all I've got for today. I wanted to just do sort of a news type discussion, opinion video. If any of this interests you or you want to keep following the channel, I'd appreciate if you hammer down like button, leave a comment below, let me know your thoughts, follow along Discord, etc. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.